Taurus. It's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a little quick reading. I have been out of the loop for quite a, quite some time. So if you are coming back, thank you so much. If uh, this is the first time that you have been to my channel, welcome. All right, so we're gonna do a quick little reading here for you, for them, and for the connection, all right? So this card is gonna represent you. This card will represent the connection. This card will represent your person, okay? And we'll go from there. All right, so what do we have here for you? Jiminy. All right, so we've got five of pentacles. All right, so you might be either missing somebody uh, you might feel like somebody isn't giving you the attention that maybe you would like or deserve, or you might feel completely left out, like somebody is ghosting you or, you know, they just, they haven't explained, they've kind of left you out in the cold. This person's energy here. We have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so when it comes to, I feel like when it comes to you, this person has, I feel like, been carrying some, maybe the, the burden of whether or not to move something forward with you, or they might be carrying a lot of fear what comes before the Ten of Wands is the Nine of Wands, which is a lot of fear. So this person might be in kind of a state of maximum fear right now when it comes to the connection. What do we have here? There we have it. We've got Three of Swords. So I feel like this person is feeling this Three of Swords, um, this card of heartbreak or heartache. I feel more so it's heartache. For this person, it might be a feeling of heartbreak for you because you might be on the verge of thinking something's not going to happen or something's over. And I feel like this person is literally on the verge of getting ready to, to drop the burden of fear with the Ten of Wands in the reverse. So let's see. Let's see what this Five of Pentacles is about for you. All right, we've, yeah, we've got the Six of Cups in the reverse. You are feeling like this might be somebody that for the longest time you thought, God, you know, this is, this is, this is something special. This is something different. This is, um, you know, this is something that I've dreamed of maybe all of my life and never found until I met this person. With the Six of Cups in the reverse, it's like you, you are feeling like you're either losing this connection or maybe you feel like you were wrong as to thinking that this might be a soulmate or, a, you know, a special type of deep soul connection. So let's see, why is this happening? Temperance. All right, <clears throat> so get ready for this. With Temperance, card of Sagittarius, you might be dealing with a Sagittarius, but what I feel like is, is happening here with you that you may not realize is you in some way are, when you're around this person, when you talk to this person, your energy, you temper something within yourself. You temper the level of passion that you might have for this pers person. You temper the emotion. In other words, you you kind of, you modify it, like you you pull it down. You don't allow yourself to express the full emotion or full passion that you have for this person. And you might know that, you may not know that, but I feel like that's what is affecting this connection on your end. It's like this person might need to be hit in the face with, and I don't mean that literally, but you know, they might need... <laughs> They might need it to be very, very obvious, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on for this person with fear. Page of Cups. All right, so I feel like this person is getting ready to 
kind of give you that tempered energy back, okay? Because Page of Cups, emotionally speaking, is not a big expression of emotion or love. Um, you know, this person might come to you and apologize and say, you know, I, I, I've, I've been afraid to, to move this forward. I, I know we have a connection. I, I've just been, I've been afraid. You know, so it might be as simple as that. This person might text you. They might call you. They might say, they might just, if they walk by you, they might smile at you. Some small sh showing of emotion here, I feel like, is coming. And it's because this person is trying to drop the fear that they have with this connection. All right. So why this small emotional energy here? Nine of Pentacles, because this person really doesn't know if they want to disrupt their, their life with a relationship, because I feel like they might have had um, not the best experience in the past. I mean, any relationship that's over or broken up or divorce, you know, generally speaking, it if it ends, it probably doesn't end on the greatest terms. This person, I feel like, is might be very happy in their single life, but they feel like something's missing as well. So I feel like they would like to take it very slowly. So I feel like this is about heartbreak for you and heartache for this other person. So let's see what this is about here. Look at that. We've got Nine of Swords. So I feel like this is something that you both do. You both worry and you are manifesting what you're worried about more so than what your hearts want. Like the worry is overtaking the connection in a way. All right, so why is that? Ace of Wands. I feel like the, the sexual connection or the sexual attract, attraction between the two of you is so strong. It... it it makes both of you it makes both of you kind of hold back like the most important parts of yourself when it comes to connecting with the other person it's like what you want to see from them they want to see from you and both of you are waiting to see it in the other person because the the sexual chemistry is so strong but neither one of you are showing what you need to show to the other person it's like I feel like neither one of you can believe fully that the other person is truly interested although I feel like both of your intuitions are telling you otherwise all right so let's get a romance card for everybody here as to what needs to happen to move this forward. For you, what do we have? Soulmate. So it's about having faith that if you have an intuition that somebody here is your soulmate, you know, this is telling you, yes, this is. But remember, tempering who you are, who you truly are, the level of passion and emotion that maybe you want to express for somebody, I feel like that needs to be brought out. For this person, how they move forward. All right, we've got reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, so this could be you. You know, this might be, this could be about somebody else. You know, maybe there's a delay in this particular connection because this person hasn't cleaned up their past, okay? So I feel like this is about cleaning up their past in some way so they can drop all of the fears and move forward. For the connection, what needs to happen? Look at this, calling in your soulmate. This is for both of you. All right, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And that's basically telling you, don't spend your time worrying about this or thinking the worst or, you know, enjoy, enjoy the fantasy of it for now. Because I feel like the fantasy calls in your soulmate and you already know this. And this person, I feel like, has some things to clean up. 
but they know it too. All right, Taurus, that is what I have for you. I will be doing um, three extended readings this week for you as well, so you can check those out, but I'm doing that for, that's for everybody. So if, um, you know, if you feel called to the title, whatever it happens to be, then it's probably for you in some way. Maybe the whole reading isn't for you. Maybe it is. Who knows? But uh, if you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, certainly reach out to me. If not, no worries. I will see you in the three additional readings this week as well. All right. Have a great week. Bye.